one I just have to introduce to you. Ta-da! Isn't he the cutest? My mom and I were driving down our street and we found him right in the middle of the road. When my mom got out of the car, he came right up to her. My mom couldn't just leave him there, so she brought him into the car. Then he jumped right into my lap and nibbled on my nose. That's why I call him Nibbler. My mom said she couldn't imagine how such a cute little guy ended up on the street. But I can. I can imagine that Nibbler's fur is actually enchanted. And he fell into the hands of a wizard who wanted to shave Nibbler's fur to make a cloak for himself so he could do crazy wizard tricks. Like be invisible and win every single game of hide and seek. But Nibbler used his enchanted fur powers to purr the wizard into a deep sleep. And then he escaped. That's when we found him. That must be what happened, right? Well, anyway, my mom said I get to take care of him while she tries to find his owner. Oh, where did he go? Oh, no! Nibbler is chewing up my toys! No, Nibbler! Nibbler seems thirsty. I need to get him something to drink. I uh, guess it's time to take care of Nibbler. Taking care of a kitten will be a snap. This isn't easy! Maybe Nibbler isn't so enchanted after all. The only crazy thing I've seen him do is make the stuff for my stuffed toys disappear. Well, let's check out our Bible story for today. Ah! Nibbler, no! It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Ruth, chapter 4. When Ruth went home and told Naomi that Boaz wanted to marry her too, Naomi knew that they didn't have to worry. She knew that Boaz would hurry and do everything the right way so that he could marry Ruth, just like he said. You see, there was still something that needed to be done. Someone in town was actually a closer family member to Naomi than Boaz was. That meant this other person had the chance to marry Ruth if he wanted to. So, Boaz couldn't bring Ruth and Naomi into his family until that person said he didn't want to. Boaz went straight into town and found the man. Boaz was very wise in the way he spoke to the other family member. After Boaz was done talking, the man decided to let Boaz marry Ruth. He promised he would not get in the way of Boaz marrying Ruth. Boaz could finally make her and Naomi his family. So that is exactly what happened. It was like a fairy tale ending. Ruth and Boaz got married and had a baby. The baby's name was Obed. When everyone saw Naomi carrying her precious grandchild, they saw how well God had taken care of her. Naomi had lost her husband and sons and felt it seemed like all was lost. But God gave her Ruth, Boaz, and now Obed and helped them all live happily ever after because God always takes care of us. What an awesome story! Things with Nibbler, actually his name was Jack, worked out great too. We found his owners. They were so thankful to have him back. So it turned out he wasn't with the wizard that just wanted to make a cloak out of his magic fur, but my mom and I did feel like two valiant knights who swept in on our trusty steed our car to save Nibbler, I mean Jack, and return him to his palace. I mean house. <laughs> Taking care of Jack made me think about our Bible story. Naomi and Ruth went through a lot of twists and turns just like I did with that little kitten today. I wasn't sure how or if it would work out, but everything in the end worked out. I guess Jack the Kitten and Naomi's little grandson, Obed, were pretty great reminders that God always takes care of us. It's been so much fun learning and growing with you. See you next time. 